Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am creating two shaped cards which are really small but I really love it and therefore I use the new long form stamp set called Car Critters. So first of all I took a piece of Nina 110 and I am going to stamp out my images twice uh, because I am going to create two shaped cards. Um, after this video I also made some other colors of course uh, because it is a bit addicting um, but yeah I really like it so I am stamping out my images using Gina K Design Amalgam Ink because I am going to color it in with my Copic markers and just to make it easy for me to stamp everything out I am stamping it out twice I only need four images uh, from the critters uh, but this way I could still choose which one I was going to use. Then uh, to personalize the cars, I am going to stamp uh, the number plate Thanks Dad and I Love You uh, on each car. One car will be for my father. Uh, I already have a Father's Day card that I will share the upcoming Sunday when we are celebrating Father's Day uh, here in Belgium. Um, but uh, since this stamp set came out I really wanted to use it for him uh, so I thought of creating a small extra card for uh, the moment that I see him back uh, at my place or something like that and I'm just going to give it as a sort of an extra card to him I just think it's really suitable because you can say thank you which is so important uh, I'm really grateful for the guidance of my parents um, with my study uh, with looking for a, my first job um, just in everything and this is an extra way to show it and I really like doing this then the other car uh, is for my fiance so I am creating some sort of a love themed shaped card um, and then just a thank you that so the critters I already colored the other ones exactly the same as I did here and now for the car I will make blue car uh, for my father and then the one for my fiance is pink it's not that pink is his favorite color but um, since it's a sort of uh, a love themed card I will get away with the pink one <laughs> um, so yeah I'm just uh, adding my Copics I am starting with the darkest color moving towards the lightest one going back in on those places where the blending isn't going as smoothly as I would want it to um, and that's just how I am doing it this time I recently got a question about Copic coloring, sometimes I do from light to dark, sometimes from dark to light. Um, there isn't really consistency uh, when you're looking at my channel, that's because Copic coloring is really personal preference and figuring out what works best for you, uh, just so you just need to try them out, there are different ways of coloring with them. Uh, I try to use both methods because I want to improve myself in both ways uh, but I must admit when there are some color families that are difficult to blend uh, like I often experience that with the yellow greens maybe it's also because I don't own that many and I don't have those tones that I need in between and uh, then I uh, personally find that it's easier when you first add a base coat of the lightest color uh, but it's truly um, just give it a go and you will notice yourself what you think is easier uh, for yourself so there are different ways just try them and then you will just find your way that works perfectly
With all the images colored in, I used the matching dyes to die cut them. And then I decided that I wanted the critters to uh, not show that uh, bottom part because it wasn't colored that pretty. So I decided to take my craft knife and just make a slit um, there where the car window <laughs> is sitting so that I could slide the critters inside of it so that just that bottom part was covered by the car. Um, and then I am going to glue it down with some liquid glue. So now onto the card base. Therefore, I just took um, my a piece of paper that fits for a card base, and I'm creasing using my bone folder this card base. So I just use this panel in this direction because this way I can get the most out of it for making these shaped parts. And as you can see here, the idea is that you put the die a bit overlapping over that folded area so that it will not be cut all the way but just until the fold and then you created just two card bases and because you use the die cut it fits perfectly with the colored in image before adhering my colored in the images, I first wanted to personalize these card bases a bit more. I wanted to use the sentiments from the stamp set inside of the card so that I, so that I didn't have to write anything, uh, but just that it was, was finished on its own. So for the card for my father, I am using the thanks for steering me. Um, and for the card of my fiance, I am putting I'd be lost without you, which is truly adorable. I really love the sentiments that Longform is including in all its stem sets and the way that you can combine them and they just think of everything. I just love it. So I am partially stamping the sentiments. You, you could do some stamp surgery, but uh, as you know me uh, from a while back already, uh, I think that's terrifying. So I keep my stamps <laughs> completed and I just mask off those areas that I am not using. So now I am taking my Tombow to adhere my colored images on top of this card base and then I will stamp out the other sentiment on the inside of the other card base.
Next up, I'm going to embellish these cards using some stickles onto the lights because I want them to shine. And then I will cover the number plates uh, with glossy accents. And after adding these details, I remembered that I wanted to add a little heart above the sentiments. So I actually should have done this before adding the glossy accent, adding the stickles. But uh, I didn't smear anything this time, so <laughs> I was lucky. Um, so I stamped the sentiments quite uh, low. And with that heart above it, it matched the color of the car as well as it also added something extra to the inside. So these hearts are from Doodlebug Designs and these are the most gorgeous heart stickers that there are ever made. Um, so I really love them. Uh, they are just fabulous. And then my two shaped cards are finished. So I really hope that you like this card design, it's really small and it's so lovely to make. I hope that the recipients will be happy with it and I'm hoping to see you next time as well. Bye!